Okay, I wanna give you a sneak peek of the grounds so that you can see what it looks like now, so you can really appreciate what's about to come. So for those of you who've been here before, this is where the turf typically goes. We've been trying to, with all the construction happening over there, we've had to redo stuff here. So the turf will be laid soon. Okay. So here's where all the picnic tables are gonna go. There's gonna be brick that goes down here. All the food trucks are gonna line up here. So now the whole block is this full experience. When you step into here, the first thing you're gonna see, well, you'll see the church, but is Chip's Wiffle Ball Field. And you'll see the um, awnings have gone up, the seating's about to go in, the turf, more food trucks right here, the concession stand, and then you see the back of the church that just got painted. Um, this church is, and I stepped into it yesterday and it just, it took my breath away. There's something about it that feels so special. So the fact that all these pavers are going in is almost like tile work. That means you're that much closer to the job being complete. And once the pavers go in, then we can install all the landscape and then we're done. So that's the coffee shop over there. There's gonna be all this sitting kind of shaded area for guests. And then this is the part I'm most excited about, the new lawn. Um, you can see there's six tiny shops that are all gonna have their own cutie little themes and products so that when you step in, you can kind of experience that. Right here where I'm walking is gonna be turf that ties into the turf over there. Um, this nice green lawn that'll be lined with beautiful oak trees that all kind of lead up to this old historic church. Um, when we first bought the silos, we love the historic landmark of the silos themselves and we built everything around them. Well, when we purchased this parking lot, we really didn't feel like there was anything on here that felt special. Obviously, the baseball fields that were back there, that's historic. Um, and so that's why we brought in the wiffle ball field to kind of nod to that. But we wanted a historic landmark for this section. And when we bought the church years ago, we decided let's move it here and let that be the center point, the focal point for this area. And now when you see the church and these silos, uh, it just feels like a rich piece of Waco history. And no, Chip is not pastoring a church. 